All right, let's see if we can get Seth in it right now. Let's see, guys. He was doing a live as well, so I, I hope it doesn't miss out on each other. What's up, what's up, what's up? All right, what's up, everybody? Trying to do a live little Instagram Q&A for you guys. Kind of waiting for my buddy Seth to join real quick, you know. Let me see. Is there like any way I can? I almost never do these lives, you know. I, I thought it was a good idea for you guys. So if you guys have any questions, just feel free to drop them right now so I can answer them for you guys, you know. You know what, in the meanwhile, I could talk about my current experiment, which is Magnalone and um, Phototonic, actually. Uh, I will be dropping a video in within the hour, maybe even 30 minutes on my YouTube channel, which is why I would prefer injectable SARMs every day instead of every other day. Um, so that video will be live on my Instagram within like 30 minutes, like I said, maybe maybe even an hour or so. Go to my YouTube, which is White Boy From The Yard, and just subscribe, you know. I'm kind of waiting for my buddy Seth to join, so let me see. We could do a little live Q&A, that was the plan. All right, sup, man? Finally, let's get it. What's up, you guys? Let me add him real quick. <laughs> All right. What's up, man? How are you doing? Right, man. Connection's kind of bad right now, but yeah, I get that, you man. Really can. <laughs> yeah, sure, it's all right, man. You know, all the way from all across the globe, you know, it's all good. So, so, I, so what's going on? I'm good, man. I'm just, I'm just heading back home, just eating dinner in a couple of minutes, you know. And you, you heading to work, right? Uh, yeah, I'm about to drop off my butt. Oh, the car. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm about to head off to work pretty soon, though. Uh, so you're working at the supplement store these days, right? So, hold on, let me let me close the the car real quick here. The door. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> so, um, you you work at the uh, supplement store, right? Which one was it? Yeah, so I work at a local supplement store over here in town. So I do that on the weekends, and I work with my clients during the weekdays, and um, of course, muscle gel as well. Yeah, 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 and the muscle gel. So I, I've seen the muscle gels products in the uh, supplement store as well, which is good, right? How do you, how do you like the fire, man? Oh, the fire is actual fire, man. I swear, every time I use it and I rub it on, it's just it's a world of difference. It's crazy to see how it works, you know. At first, I was like, oh, it's the bomb. At first, I was a little bit skeptical, but the Andrew Hart, I mean, it really opened my eyes, man. I got so full of vascular on it. It was crazy, man. Well, it definitely, if you're like, especially if you're trying to, to uh, lose some extra weight when you're bulking. Yeah. Uh, I like to use it all year round because you, know, you get those, like, the extra water weight so it can expel all that extra water weight for you to get. Yeah, that's true, man. Especially pre-cardio, man. I, when I just pull my t-shirt off, it's, like, wet as hell, man. So it does what yeah. it's supposed to do. So you guys... All you guys that are watching, buy yourself some Muscle Gels products because they are legit, man. I, I'm telling you guys. <laughs> so, um, let's answer some of these questions, man. Uh, does anyone have any questions about cycles or sorrows? Yeah, man, you can ask them all. We got a couple of guys in there. If you have any questions, just drop them right now. Me and Seth can answer them immediately. Let me know if you guys have any questions. We'll uh, drop them in the comment section or just yeah. uh, them right in the chat. Oh, yeah, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and obviously on Seth's channel, okay? Really important. A lot of new knowledge and information coming out, okay? Don't miss out. So, what's your, so let's go over your current cycle, man. What are you doing right now? Um, currently, I'm doing the Magnolone and the Phototonic. I'm, I'm about like two, two and a half weeks in right now. Man, and it's crazy, man. I, I really like it. I'm about to drop a video um, whether I like to do it every day or every other day. And I can tell you guys right now, I prefer to do it every day because when I do a little bit more than 10 milligrams, like for every other day, I could notice the pressure. He knows the pump's a lot better than the oral and the liquid, so. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm, I, I, if I take the 10 milligrams, it kind of feels like 20. So I got suppressed really quick. So I just take the five milligrams every day now. It's much more stable, you know. So I noticed, like, since, uh, since I've been doing the injectables myself, yeah, yeah. Uh, so getting less suppressed, I would recommend doing the Black Ox and the Blue Ox together. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I've actually noticed a big difference, um, especially adding that to my cycle, because I'm not, like, suppressing my natural testosterone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I might add a black ox because I'm already taking the blue ox right now on cycle. I was saving the black ox for uh, the PCT, you know. But I could add it as well. It's an option. Maybe I feel different. It just, this may be something I have to try out, you know. What's you taking the estrogen blockers with it? Uh, no, man, because I'm actually keeping the dose really low and I'm using the andro R as kind of as the androgen base, you know, so. Okay. Yeah, I actually use that too. I, I use the andro heart at night. So basically, guys, uh, what the Andro Heart does, it's going to help keep the muscles hardening. So yeah. it's basically like you're using Enovar, but it's a topical version. So it's going to keep that muscle hardening there. It's going to keep your skin tight. And yeah. it's going to help make your muscles all I'm cutting out again. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> it was the internet, man. All right. What's up, Chris Roberts? We got to start a couple of views. If you guys have any questions, just drop the questions right now and we can answer them live, guys. So don't miss out, okay? See the little dog in the back? <laughs> uh, yeah. That's, so uh, that's Caleb there. There's Bailey in the front here. That's my pup. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you got a couple of dogs, right? What's up, girl? <laughs> you got a couple of dogs, right? Yeah, just drop the questions right now, man. For an average, okay, there's a good one. Uh, for an average person, how much muscle can you gain from MK677 for eight weeks? I heard MK677 gives you permanent muscle gains. What do you think yeah, about definitely. that? Oh, it definitely gives permanent muscle gains. The only thing that's not permanent is, is a little bit water retention, you know, but I don't mind. The water retention is just the fullness, but the muscle that's gained, that's actually muscle, just will maintain, you know. Um, I noticed too, you could actually um, get on a decent amount of pounds, but yes, you are going to get some water weight. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You could probably get at least two to three pounds of muscle with it because you keep a lot of it when it's on. Yeah, definitely. Over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much can you expect to gain on a 12 week SARM cycle? Well, that depends, I think. What, what SARMs, uh, what dosages, you know? It all depends on your food intake too, what you're eating and what yeah. you're eating outside of the gym. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Most definitely. Food intake is really important, you know. No SARM or steroid, you know, could ever help you gain tons and tons of muscle without proper food intake. That's really important, you know. That all, that's also a big play. So a lot of people think that SARMs alone um, will actually give you 10 pounds of muscle. Of course, it's going to. But yeah, yeah, yeah. your diet accordingly to your workouts and after and before, you yeah. make a big difference, guys. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, it will get you some pounds, obviously, but oh, I mean, yeah. run, running with a test base or anything like that will get you like actual, maybe the 10 pounds, you know. It's just crazy to see how SARMs work compared to steroids these days. Okay, so we got oral, anadrol, or SARMs. Man, okay. what do you hey, think, man? Anadrol uh, or SARMs? Anadrol with SARMs? I've never actually used anadrol before. Um, I'm actually going to do my first Anacol um, experience pretty soon. I'm actually going to try and document it. All right. That's um, awesome. So I'm not sure, but from what I've told, it's probably going to be really effective. Yeah, yeah. I think, too, if you combine this two, you know, but I'm not a big fan of Anadrol myself. That's why I like to experiment with SARMs instead of the other harsh liver toxic steroids and stuff. You do get a lot of, a lot of liver toxicity with the uh, and a draw. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, we got another one, Sushio Y. This, this is a YK one. Um, <laughs> is it wise to cycle YK with a folding disc? Um, I'd probably not do it, just for safety reasons. Yeah. Yeah, me neither, man, because YK really gives you the joint pain. I mean, it's really there. YK11 as an oral liquid or even the injectable will give you joint pain for sure. Definitely. So I, I wouldn't do that myself. I know NPP is really good to lubricate the joints and everything, you know, but, yeah, you know, I'm not a big fan of NPP, you know, overall. 
You could actually do, um, what is it, MK677? That's a really good um, joint and uh, healing property. Yeah, 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 true, true. Oh, I'm really curious about the new muscle gels, re uh, relief gel as well, man. Oh, yeah, actually, that's one good thing I was going to uh, bring up, especially if you're having joint pain relief. Yeah. Uh, the topical versions actually are faster absorbing your skin, just like any lotion, but yeah, it actually yeah. goes into your skin faster than actually you taking it like a pill form or any other version. Yeah, really crazy. It's a, so it's, it's kind of like a CBD cream, right? Topical yeah, exactly. gel. So you just rub it on, just targeting certain areas of your muscles, muscles that you have pain, and you put it on a certain spot, just like uh, using fire. Yeah, so it relieves, it heatens, I believe, you know, and it relieves the joint pain. That's, that's crazy, man. Maybe it's really good in addition to YK11, you know? It actually has some good cooling and heating effects, too. Yeah, 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 definitely. So uh, what is, what, what's this one? Glucosamine will help you with the pain. Yeah, it should, it should help with the pain. Uh, yeah. But not, not as effectiveness as uh, CBD would. No, never, man. I mean, it would help, but I don't know how much glucosamine would be good for the human body if you, like, kind of overdose it, you know. I don't know. Uh, I'm not trying to figure that out, but yeah. I like well, to... Especially if you're older versus uh, people that are younger. Um, yeah. A lot of weightlifters have uh, experienced, like, pain issues and joint yeah, yeah, yeah. issues over the years. So a lot of people that I experiment with, uh, they like to use CBD, and actually it works a lot more effectively. Yeah, I believe that as well. Yeah, just maybe glucosamine and magnesium, all these other stuff, they help, but they're not like, you know, the pain just fades away or something. It helps, but I give my dog food with extra additional glucosamine in there because he's getting older, you know, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think magnesium is a really good one too, especially post-workout, if you're really sore. Yeah, uh, yeah. A little bit after your workout to help you recover a lot faster, especially with the cars. Yeah, definitely. A lot of people just seem to miss out on these basic vitamins and minerals like magnesium and stuff like that. And don't forget about your electrolytes too, so that, that's also a big play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely with injectable SARMs and other gear, actually. Yeah. So what are some good other questions here? You guys have any other questions that you guys could ask? Yeah, man. Drop them down below. We can answer them right now. Uh, what's this? <laughs> Try to get all these dogs to exercise here. I don't know if I can flip them. Look at that. <laughs> Flipping around here. Walking around with doggies. Yeah, I'm just trying to get their energy up before I go to work. What's up, Diego? What's going on, man? Got a local here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Branches everywhere. What's up, guys? I think people are just starting to wake up here. Yeah, me too, man. So I just actually, going back on the YK11 uh, question, I have started the fall accounting injectable YK11. Have you experienced anything with that yet? Have you started anything? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did start it already, like uh, running it alongside the Magnolone. And it's just, I don't, it's crazy, man. It works so fast. I, um, sometimes I take it, sometimes I, I don't take it, you know, and I could really notice the difference when I'm in the gym working out, looking at myself in the mirror, just much more fullness and vascular. It's just, it's, it's really different. I don't know. YK is really a crazy compound, if you ask me. It is. And uh, people think it's a SARM, too, which is not really a SARM. It's no, just a myostatin inhibitor, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it's actually going to prevent the muscle, but then later on, it's going to be able to make you put so much more mass on your body. Yeah, because it works different through the androgen receptors. Crazy. All right, we got another one. I've heard test injections are good for muscular skeletal, skeletal health, and would it turn into joint injuries? I don't think so. I wouldn't know that as well, actually, man. I don't think test would actually do that for you. Um, test is just actually replacing your natural testosterone because a lot of people that are older, they actually have low testosterone. So it's just going to replace the testosterone in your body. That you're yeah, you build muscle, but it doesn't build, you know, uh, it doesn't build bigger bones. You know, you got to take other stuff to do that. Maybe like HGH or actually the MK677. Yeah, I think that would be more of a of a compound that would actually grow your bones. Because actually that does happen. Yeah. For the most part. Yeah, 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 yeah. Any other questions, like, guys? What's up, Carlton? <laughs>
<laughs> oh wait, how do I do this? Oh shit, yeah, this is the episode. I'm dropping this episode. I didn't even knew I could do this, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's another one. Um, Half Life was uh, the oral version of YK11. Yeah, that's hard to say, yeah, man. That one, like Hard to say. We actually don't really know the Half Life of oral, injectable, or whatever. Maybe the injectable because it's extended, you know. But with the oral, I personally believe it's like six hours, something like that. It works really fast. You know, I like to take it the oral one pre workout. And when I, when I take a pre workout, you immediately notice it. And so I don't know. I think it's four to six hours. So there's, there hasn't been yeah. that much studies, you know. I agree with you on that one. I think the oral is a lot more faster acting. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I noticed it stays in my system for at least a whole day. For it to yeah. What's and up? I think everyone's body works a little differently. So when you take it and when you don't take it. Yeah, definitely. Because with LGD, some people could take 15 milligrams and don't experience, you know, any suppression. And if I take more than 10, I immediately feel it. So that's exactly. crazy. Yeah. It depends on a uh, person's body type, too. You know, it depends on how much mass you have already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone with littler mass or doesn't have very much at all. Yeah, you'd be true, able to yeah. put out many more with just smaller doses than going very high. Yeah. And so, so what's, guys, what's have been like the most favorite compound you have experimented with like over the past few years? Could be top so hotel or, or yeah. Um, like just SARMs or uh, steroids or just like in general. And maybe SARMs or even topical gels or. Um. So. I pretty much done everything except for Deca and Fran. So, um, well, especially Enderbrock, which I'm going to try pretty soon. Yeah, but yeah. I've actually really liked doing is doing YK11. Um, that's my preference of SAR or myofat inhibitor yeah. and an LCD combo. Yeah, definitely, man. Off of those two. Yeah, yeah, me too. I think the YK is probably the most preferable, but since it's not really a stable base, you know, I like to add in the LGD or something, or, or even MK. MK is, I, I like LGD and MK. It gets you so full and round. That's just yeah, crazy, man. I'm actually on MK right now. I don't know if you see the bloat in my face right now. <laughs> I <do>. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I a little, yeah. If bloat off, I'll put the fire on my face. Oh, and really? Tell you put the fire on your face, and then I can yeah, yeah. blow it down. It spells all the water out. Damn, it works. It I'll really does. Let's try it, man. That's crazy, man. Oh, so here's another have... good question. Yeah. Um, have you experienced any hair loss with YK11? I have it personally. Um, I think it's uh, hair loss that depends on more of like a genetic kind of based thing. Yeah, definitely genetics, man. I mean, look at my head. Do you see this hairline? It, it used to be right here, you know? <laughs> it used I to be right here. <laughs> I don't really have any hair loss or anything. You have a big I'm bush of hair, man. Now, but um, the actually, I think what is it? What's the sarum that actually uh, suppresses hair loss? I think is it Rad One Forty. Yeah, I think it's Rad. Yeah, definitely. For me, I notice like in the morning when I take Rad One Forty, I notice a little bit of clumps in my um, my hair. Some of it yeah. fall out in the shower or something. Shedding. But not too much. It just depends on how much dosages you take when you're actually. Yeah. Doing Probably and not. genetics, obviously, again, yeah, yeah. But like I and said, like, like you're saying, it really, it's really about genetics. Yeah, my dad was 27, and he he was bald already. You know, I'm 24, and I mean, look at this. You know. <laughs> yeah, I think it depends on your parents and like, you know, what they what they look like now, or you know, yeah. what they looked like before. I mean, mm -hmm. so it's based on your parents, and your genetics, and your family history. Yeah, definitely, man. I believe that, too. Some people just run anabolics for 20 years, and they have all their hair. And I mean, some guys just run one cycle and loses everything. So it's really hard to say. There's really genetics here. Like, look at Tony. Like, he has no hair loss whatsoever. Yeah, that's you know? crazy, right? <laughs> and he blasts a lot of compounds. Just all depends on the person. Definitely, definitely. And how, how you use the products. If you, like, misuse them, yeah, you, you're messed up. <laughs> exactly. Simply if you're abusing them and high-dosing them all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, guys? I questions or anything like that. I don't have too much time. I got to get to work pretty soon. I want to answer as much as I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to get to the store, too, man. Get myself some meals in. Got to get your games, bro. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I am going to be going on live tonight with Tony. He just said that he was able to join us today. So I don't right. know if you can get in and I'll, um, a live with us tonight, too, as well, I think.
Yeah, just hit me up, man, and I will be down. But it could be, you know, that I'm sleeping since the Titan difference, you know. But exactly, we'll figure it out. Of you, right? Like, on the side of the world now. Yeah, but I don't know, man. I don't know without straight out of my head all the differences. It's just I just gotta calculate it, Google it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, man. Any other so, questions, guys? So drop the drop the supplement story going to real quick, so, we, so these guys can come visit anytime. Don't forget to add White Boy from the Yard, especially on the YouTube page. Definitely. Or go check out Seth Jordan 3.0. Definitely. So here's another one. Uh, so thank you for the. Okay, cool. Thanks, brother. Yeah, man. Thank you very much, man. Yeah, Keep growing. You guys have any other power questions or heads or gear? Drop them real quick because we are going to be gone in a couple of minutes. <laughs> we should definitely try and do these lives a little more. So I yeah, man. So other people could get some more, uh, you know, questions answered. Definitely, definitely, sure. Especially for uh, future video topics. Yeah, 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 that's a good one. Easy one to do as well. Exactly. Thoughts on trend? Um, oh. I don't really care for trend. I, I mean, it's good for cutting, but... I mean, you could use so much more different compounds without using trend and harming your body. Definitely, man. I mean, trend, for me, hell no. I ain't even going to touch it, man. Um, I'm pretty aggressive to begin with, you know. All those stuff doesn't work for me. All the androgens and the acne and stuff. Yeah, nah, man. I prefer to Actually, take SARMs. If, if, if you do want to try something similar to trend, I would try YK11 injectable version. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You'd actually get the same effects. What's your angle? All right, what's your angle, Seth? <laughs> uh, I don't really have an angle, actually. Uh, for me, it's just about like being a better version of myself every single day, getting better. So I don't really have an angle. I just want to do better each day. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, the thing I want to do, my, I don't even have an angle as well. I just want to help people get the right information out so people don't do stupid stuff, you know. Exactly. This is it, actually. I'm just trying to help everybody because if you try to Google stuff on the internet, it's all lies. It's a web of nonsense, you know, so it's really hard. I try to help everyone, old, young, whatever. We've all been there. We've all, like, basically started from nothing, so we're all just trying to get the information out to you guys so you guys don't end up not knowing anything. Yeah. Ruining your testosterone. Don't do PCT. Get too much. Do I get question so much about oh man uh, should i do my first cycle of testosterone at 600 milligrams stuff like that i'm like dude no man why you're young you know just do some maybe if you if you want to do it do 300 at least and that that's it you know actually just do test trt replacement i mean that's yeah, definitely I, you know i started my first cycle with just test only for like a whole year yeah that's better man and even if you stack the arms on top of that they're just more powerful you know, for a whole year, I didn't even want to do any steroids or any SARMs yeah. or anything. I just, I just kind of went with testosterone only to get my, my uh, testosterone levels back up. Yeah. And I, I found that, that I have a deficiency in testosterone. So I'm glad I actually did that. So now on top of that, I stack all the stuff on top of testosterone. Yeah. Carterine for fat loss. Is it worth it? All right. Yeah. <laughs> Hell, motherfucking yeah. <laughs> I would say so. It's way better than taking Clan. Yeah, oh, definitely, definitely. You know, I like cauterine. I, I use cauterine for the cholesterol properties, actually, especially when on magnolone. So, you know, for the, for those properties. But if you combine it with SR9009, damn, the fat just shreds off. It's crazy. Exactly, yeah. It actually helps your um, HDL levels as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The HDL, the LDL. It's actually one of my favorite stacks. And even if you stack on top of it with S4, that's a good stack as well, yeah. But I like to do a couple of days on, a couple of days off, you know, because of the studies with the rats and the cancer and everything, you know. Exactly. It doesn't directly give you cancer. I mean, they gave these rats for, for multiple years, really insane amounts. So, you know, it's probably not going to happen, but just out of precaution, you know. So if you do want to do a cycle of uh, cardering, I would recommend a two-week on, two-week off cycle. Yeah, just definitely. Just give your body a little recomp and then stack something else onto it in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we re reach our genetic potential by using SARM? Um, yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, I think too, man. 
I think it will help you reach your genetic potential much faster than just natural, you know? Especially if you're young and you're just starting out. Yeah, of course. I mean, you're going to plateau at a certain age anyways. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. At a young age, you're just going to um, enhance your genetics on top of that. Yeah, 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 definitely. Get more leaner. Here's another good one. Uh, YK11 affects L8. Yeah, I think YK11 affects a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Right? There's still, there's still a lot of different um, side effects that um, haven't been really discovered yet in YK11 since a lot of people have not really, you know, used it long enough to kind of see its full potential. So if you guys are doing your blood work, make sure you get your blood before and after so you know what's going on in your system. Definitely. And preferably even, you know, in the way, in between, you know, but it, it costs some money, you know, but it's definitely worth it. Or if you're actually, like, insured by a doctor, make your doctors, like, notified of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's this one? Uh, right platform, nine and three-fourths on your wall. Okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's actually funny because I watched Harry Potter yesterday, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Damn. Okay, here's a good one for you, man. Uh, How does the slim, per uh, slim pills work? Well, they just shuttle the carbs into muscle. It's really simple, man. It's a nutrition catalyst. You know, you take it with the highest carb meal and they will just shuttle the carbs into muscle in, instead of spilling over the fat. How do you like the Slim Pill so far? You use so it a lot. What I like to do, I actually like to do them after my cheat meal. Yeah. So basically, you're actually shuttling them direct into your muscle. So some people like to do them before. But yeah, yeah. I don't want to do it before, I don't get the full effect. Oh, so really? Afterwards, and then I actually start to feel fuller. Okay. Yeah, for me, that doesn't work because if I take it afterwards or something, I get acid reflux. I don't know what it is, man. Maybe because it's too many pills or something. <laughs> yeah, also kind of genetics. I get acid reflux, you know, fast, you know. I mean, even if you're, you take a lot of pills in general, I mean, I think that's hard to digest in the system after you feel. So it also depends on that as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But I like them, man. I use them every day, you know, always. I can't live without them these days. Exactly, especially if you're doing like a big uh, high fat carb meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really not get those fats in your system. You do, but you want to kind of get rid of them by actually using the slim pills to utilize them. Yeah, definitely utilize them. Yeah. All right, so we got another couple of questions or what, guys? Because I'm about Try to answer about three more questions, and then I'm gonna be taking off to work because I got to yeah, work man. the whole day. And we're gonna try and get at least another live at least once a week. To try and definitely. Get for you guys. Have the slim pills any side effects? Um, I haven't noticed any. No. Um, like I said, it's all genetic wise. How much you take, how much you dose. Yeah, definitely. I haven't noticed anything myself, you know, from side effects. Maybe the acid reflux, but that's not really a side effect if you ask me. I would recommend some sugar with your um with your slim pills as well, because it does kind of spike your insulin levels a little bit. Yeah. Oh, that's actually really smart, man. Just give that axe or insulin, insulin a push. That's really smart, actually, yeah. Tony actually told me about that, like doing some gummy bears with it or some sugar, and then your cheat meal with it, and then you're going to notice a way bigger difference. Yeah, that's a good one, yeah. All right, guys, two more questions. We got two more questions, guys, and then we got to head out. See, everyone's a little bit quiet here. <laughs> yeah, there's one. Hold on. Um, how to get much muscle loss during, what is that, Ramazan fasting for 13 hours? Oh, that's a good one. What do you think about that? Oh, damn. You know, I'm, I, I never did it before myself, you know, but um, I have a lot of guys around who, who do it, but they're not really into building muscle, I believe, so that's pretty hard to say for me personally. I would say that's more for a fat loss thing, not for, for building mass. Yeah, 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 yeah. It definitely helps that much. Like actual HGH as an in injecting or, or uh, the u just human HGH, MK677, or could be multiple things, man. Exactly. I mean, HGH well, well, is good in bodybuilding, but I suggest not to use it, you know, if you're not pro bodybuilder. MK677, on the other hand, is would be a better option. Because it triggers actual, your own production of growth hormone. I've actually experimented it with it once. Um, yeah. Especially for show prep. It does help keep your fullness when you're trying to compete. But yeah, I yeah, yeah. It on a 
Adele use. Um, I would recommend something like an MK677, the Secreta God. It's Definitely. a little more milder version, so you don't get all the side effects from it. Yeah, 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 and it makes the human body trigger it into making more growth hormone. So I, I believe that's better than actually overlapping with injecting uh, jetotropin, indeed. Exactly. And it's all right, great. guys, one more question, then we got to head out. You're pretty yeah. on our live today. <laughs> You know, AGH is fine, you know, but I don't want to use it. Um, and it, if I would ever use AGH, then you probably should use it with insulin. And I wasn't really planning on using insulin, so. Exactly. That's just too harsh for me, man. I swear to God. <laughs> hey, man, you should actually save this to your, uh, to your YouTube channel. We'll make a little video of it. Yeah, definitely. Just, i got to find out how I'm going to go. I think you just save it to your um your thing, I don't know what kind of phone you have, but the iPhone, you could just save your thing right away after you're done with the live, so you go straight to your phone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sure, it will be cool, man. One more All question. Right. One more question, guys. This guy's got to go get his gains. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't forget to subscribe again. Can't say it enough. Go subscribe at Seth Jordan's YouTube account. And mine, of course, which is why we're from the yard. All right, guys. I'm going to take one more question before we leave. Yeah, man. Let me put a light on real quick. <laughs> yeah, it's getting dark, man. Damn time difference. Just daylight right here. It's morning. Yeah, full bright morning. Yeah. <laughs> Nine o'clock. <laughs> All right, guys. One more, or we just we just stop it, all right? It's no problem, man. <laughs> Trying to go back in some of the questions and see if there's anything that we missed. Oh yeah, that's smart. <laughs> Let's see here. Any other questions, bud? Any other? Co Come on, guys. <laughs> Oh, uh, when are we going to do a live again? That's a good question. That's definitely a good question. <laughs> uh, like I said, I'm trying to get Tony and Huge on a live tonight sometime. So I'm going to try to get my friend from the yard in as well. Yeah. The time zones are a little different. So I'm going to let uh know exactly when. So look on our stories when we post it, and we'll tell you guys the exact time when we're going to go on live. Yeah, definitely. But we should do this more often, man, like weekly. So don't worry. We will do this more often, guys. Most definitely. Yeah. All right. That was it, I guess, for today's live video, right? All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys all have a good day. Thank Hell you yeah. On our live channel. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to White Boy from the Yard and Test Order 3.0. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. You yeah. Your eyes, bro. Uh, give us a little flex for the channel here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, buddy. I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, man. Have a good day, bro. Yeah, you too, bro. Goodbye, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. All right. See you later, man. See you later, buddy.